Well, the phrase jumping the shark comes in a lot of different forms. And a lot of people accidentally do things when it comes to business that most people ignore or don't really care about at all. And that's fine. But Shad Moss, a.k.a. Bow Wow, somebody's going to have to tap him on the shoulder and let him know, sir, you're no longer a celebrity. I'm sorry to be the one to break this news to you. But you're not. He's not. And I don't know if that's a bad thing. But I know for a fact. He was trying to be the first one to leak the news that Drake is leaving Jordan brand and going over to Adidas. Under Armour and Adidas were waiting in the wings to renegotiate a deal with Drake. And when Jordan Brand came along, they got Drake for a very good price. Larry Miller, the president of Jordan Brand, who you see with me right now at this event and H. They were supposed to have Drake at this meet. I remember when Kevin Durant left. This was the time Kevin Durant had packed his bags and decided, like, this was it. I'm gone. Can't really do it right now. So, it was during the Olympics. It was the trials. And he broke camp. Because that's what he does. He sees a situation is not going in a way that he likes. Packs his bags and go out the door. Now the situation with Drake. Oh, Bow Wow should have shut his mouth, and he knew it because he could potentially ruin a deal with the Divas. Like the thing with Dr. Dre and Apple for the Beats headphones, the billion dollar deal. It wasn't confirmed yet. They have to sit and wait for about, what was it, 48 hours or two weeks? And Dr. Dre's on an Instagram video. You know, and Tyrese. Almost blew the whole deal. Somebody who wasn't finna get one quarter off of the deal. Almost blew it, the whole deal. And this fool, who I'm quite sure Drake had a nice conversation with him, probably told him to take it down. <laughs> the whole post was exposing to the world. Drake's finna go to Adidas before Drake. Because Bow Wow understands he's not a celebrity no more. He's a guy that used to be in a celebrity status. And because of that, he, he knows he has to keep trolling to keep himself relevant in the game so that 
all these people would write about him because he used to be Bow Wow. You know, like he used to be a guy that was with the A-listers and Snoop's my uncle and <laughs> all of these things that people would care. You know, he's trying to stay in the game and this is how he's going to do it. He's going to troll. So by him trying to buddy up with all the rappers and be cool with them, and, yo, this is my homeboy and this and that. So he could stay in the game. Go to Bow Wow's Twitter page. He's got like what three million followers, but only would have like two hundred retweets. How is that possible? <laughs> He's not a celebrity anymore. He's a personality. And he needs to be taught or put in his place. Somebody's got to really sit him down and let him know, like, God, you can't go with us. <laughs> you got to stay home. I mean, I remember Bow Wow couldn't even get into a restaurant. It was like an after party. Everybody was on the list. Who was supposed to be there? He wasn't on the list. He knew he wasn't. He calls the scene and they let him in. So that's that. But he got to learn. Sometimes you just got to shut up, Bow Wow. And this is one of them times. Now you probably done fell out of the good graces of Drake. Oh, well. It is what it is. I'm out.